I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 47-yard line. Five wide. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Makes the catch, and look out. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down around the 10-yard line. point so a six play 76 yard drive and they come away with seven points i think the thing brad that i'm seeing is that quarterbacks taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense nice kick plenty of distance and they can forget about returning this one the Buckeyes have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Makes it to the 34. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. So they gained three yards on the play and pick up the first down. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump-off pass worked to perfection. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Second down and 17. Ball on their own 30. Positive yardage. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That brings us third and ten. Once and all, going deep. Tipped away. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They 
get this one off, and it's a beauty. He'll take it from the 18. They'll bring him down at the 31. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Right down around the 32-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Penn State is up a score. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. He might not be able to get the pass off. out awaits the snap booming kick he's to the 40 he makes it to the 42 yard line Penn State's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive now let's see if they can do it again and just listen to this crowd Brad I mean you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players and while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. Look at the strength. Makes it out to about the 33. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. They'll go with a run once again. Gets out to about the 31. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 33. He throws. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Touchdown, Bucks. Standing run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. It was a six play, 59 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Ohio State gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 24. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Coming to you, coming to you. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. 
Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. He steps out right around the 40. Dumps it incomplete. Wanted the screen. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. Four-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Bring him down at the 34. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Penn State is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He has some room. Tackle at the 35. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He makes it to the 35 yard line. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. He gets rid of this one. From their own 35-yard line. It's third down. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. Dotson is the deep man awaiting the return. He's out of bounds around the 21-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State holds a field goal lead. He's tackled at the 32. for a loss. The defense had that one called That's perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 28. Go. 
Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. He's hit and taken down. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And this one is a beauty. And he has it on the corner. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they make the stop at the 38. Wilson with the tackle at the 38-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. And they got him for a loss. at the 47. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That's a game of 20 on the way. That makes it first and 10. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They bring him down in the backfield. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. it to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Buckeyes wide receiver we hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Jones gains about four yards there from their own 30-yard line. Second down. He scrambled. And they got him. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. And he's sacked. And he can't escape again. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Wilson, the return man. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Wilson fields it at the 38. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Ohio State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. And he got it! Touchdown, Buckeyes!
and he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. They're set to go for another round. Steps out of bounds around the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Nothing gained on the play. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Stout is waiting for the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Ohio State's really putting a hurting on him right now. Well, you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this offense, but we've seen a completely different looking team, and they're executing at a much higher level. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken off. Brought down at the 49. First down. Tackle made the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws complete. He's hammered. Finds his man. First down. He's taken down at the 20. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown! Make it three passes for touchdowns. Defense better make some adjustments, and they need to make them now, because this passing attack is making a highlight film right now. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They get nice yardage on that run. And the option to the halfback gets six yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's immediately tackled. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Buckeyes with an 18-point cushion.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen that's going to do it at halftime just about ready to start the second half all right you finish it up but i'm going to get some of the cafeteria i'm hungry but wait, wait don't leave until you get my order brad kirk take the second half all right reese and david thanks guys second half action just about ready to start here he kicks it off and he got all of that one He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24. Ohio State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Got some open field. Across midfield, and he's tackled at the 38. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 13, Mike 13. Let's go tight end, let's go right here now. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it out to about the 30. That makes it second and two. Gets out to around the 22. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. Come to my work. We want it. Come to my work. Jack Hill. New center. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it seven and four. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. And down he goes around the 16-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and he got it. Ohio State to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. The Buckeyes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 47. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at about the 49.
just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 49-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Get on the throw, he caught it. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That makes us 33. Watch 14, watch 14. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. That'll make it fourth and six. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Fields, he's given the defense a lot to worry about. Well, his mobility in the pocket, I think it's what's causing this defense nightmares. He's coming back out with the offense, so we'll see if he adds to those totals. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's tackled at the 34. That's a team of 14 yards on the ground. First down. Get that quarterback! Get off! Let's go, let's go! Yellow run! Go, 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 go! He makes his way to about the 42. That's a team of 14 yards on the ground. That makes it second and two. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 48. That's a deal of ten. First down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Gold after a decent pickup. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. That's a great tackle at the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball in the 29. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. Fires that quickly incomplete. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. 
Fields' consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's produced. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. How can he not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situations. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Get up, get up, get up. Strike to his receiver, no good. That's the intended receiver on the play. Third down. It's third and five. Ball on the 46. Goes right. Picked off. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So at the end of the third quarter, Ohio State leads it 34-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike 13, Mike 13. Now, come down. Passes to the right, it's picked off. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. They're looking to get two points here. And they get the two. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Ohio State 34, Penn State 18. Penn State lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Slings it, and he is drilled at the 31. And they push him out at about the 33-yard line. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. Dotson takes it at the 21, and down he goes at the 35. We're about set to start things up again. Gets it 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. After positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. Throws it out there. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 48. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Five wide. He goes out of bounds at the 39. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just under three to go in regulation. Scrambling around, and they got him. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Chambers picks up about four yards on the play. Penn State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Tackle made at the 44. You know, the offense right now just seems to be managing the clock. Another first down, they move the sticks, and they'll start the clock again, but offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry at this point. Nice run, and he's brought down. Chambers gains about four yards on the play. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this play is number eight on the drive. And so that's going to do it. The Buckeyes take the win, 34-18. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Penn State had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game.
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.